Just last season, the ONFC Championship was the Saints and the Rams in Los Angeles. One season later, and there's no difference. Saints and Rams here in LA as the Rams try to make their third straight OFL Bowl. Saints try to get the upset. Let's go first down as the OFL MVP Lamar Jackson gets out into Jordan Howard. Howard is very tough to bring down, eventually tackled by Edmonds and Derwin James, but still a very nice run nonetheless. Now third and seven from the eight is Lamar Jackson looking. Touchdown, Rams. And they will stake a 7-0 lead to start this football game off. Nice grab right there. So let's see what the Saints offense can do. Led by the rookie quarterback out of Westlake, Champ Britton. Never won a, cha a national championship as a Hornet, but he's going to try to change that here. And the LFL is on third down. Le'Veon Bell is stopped. So the Rams offense gets it back. And they have a chance to make a pretty big lead as Lamar Jackson on first down has a man deep. Bringing that to about midfield. Lamar Jackson playing very well so far, proving why he was the league's MVP. Jackson did not play in the LFL Bowl last year due to an injury. Is on third down. Melvin Gordon wrapped up by Khalil Mack, who's Rocky number three for some reason. And I just noticed that now is on fourth down. The Rams fake the punt. More fake than my ex-girlfriend as it would be incomplete. And the Saints will get the ball back with pretty nice field position. So let's see if they can take advantage and finally put some points on the board. As Champ Britton will fake the handoff play action pass. And he has his man. That's the big booted tight end, Hugh Jass. Now at the 35, here's Britton, the former five-star recruit, connecting with Odell Beckham, who gets it to the 16. Now it's third down and three. Here's Champ Britton. He's going to dance in the pocket. He has the moves like Jagger, but he throw it away. I guess for Rams secondary, did an excellent job of covering those receivers like blankets. That'll lead to a Matt Bryant field goal, and the old man would drill it. As it was almost blocked, and the Saints will cut the lead down to four. Rams now lead at seven to three, and they still have some time to put up some more points to end the half. As here is Los Angeles, Lamar Jackson, short pass, and he is going to be wrapped up as the Saints team that went for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As that's going to be Jalen and Ramsey with the play. And so in Saints possession, Le'Veon goes nowhere. And the Rams still have some time to put some more points on the board before the end of the half. As Britain would be picked off to start the second half. Very first play, as that's going to be A.J. Bouye with the pick. Ryan Ramchak is hurt, so perfect start to the second half for the Saints after a pretty lackluster first half, at least offensively. So here returns for Rams off. It's Jordan Howard down the field, untouched like weekend homework. Touchdown Rams, and they will extend their lead now 14-3 to as Jordan Howard with his first touchdown of the day. It's now second and 11 for New Orleans. Hugh Jass for rookie once again. Making the grab, bringing it to the 45 as Britton started off like 4 for 4. He's fallen off a cliff so far here today. And then 3rd and 7, Champ Britton and the Saints in the red zone. But all of that would be for nothing. You can't spell intercepted without the D. That's Tyran the Honey Badger Matthew with the pick. And the Rams would get it back at the 9-yard line. Not great field position, but I'm sure they're more than okay with it as Lamar Jackson gets it. And he is immediately lit up in the backfield by, I believe, Quinn and Williams. So now it's third down and seven. Of course, for Rams, just got an interception. But Derwin James says, what you can do, I can do better. Reservations for six, please. As the Saints are able to get the pick six from Derwin James, they are going to go for two, try to make it a field goal deficit. Is Champ Britton looking for his running back, Le'Veon Bell, and he is an absolute bozo. The end zone was right there, but he ran the wrong way, and it is now still 14-9. to Still a nice touchdown nonetheless, but Le'Veon Bell's an absolute doofus for that. Is on second and eight, Khalil Mack, number three, with his third tackle of the game, as that'll bring us to a third down and 15. Here's Lamar Jackson looking downfield. He connects. Big play to start the fourth for Los Angeles. As they get to move the chains. Now the 35, second and four. Here's the former Heisman winner, Jackson. He gets it to Josh Reynolds. He's spinning right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, until he loses a yard, courteous of Miles Garrett. That was an easy first down, but 
he didn't take advantage, I guess. Now second and ten. The Saints get an interception. That's Jair Alexander, who jukes his way out of bounds, but still a nice play nonetheless. So this game is now really starting to get interesting here for New Orleans. Uh, now at the 36, can the Saints make a play as Britain would somehow get it to Odell Beckham? Could have been an interception for the Rams, but the Saints instead get a first down out of it. Now third down and seven here for New Orleans. They need a play here as Champ Britain scrambling like he's late on a date. He would be sacked for a loss of about a yard or so. So now it's fourth and eight here. The Saints need a conversion. They're going to go for it. They still have all three timeouts as the... Rams forces in completion, double coverage. I think that was Le'Veon Bell, the intended target. So now the Rams just need a first down to win this game. It's going to be a handoff on first down, and the Saints immediately light that play up. Now third down and 10. Can the Rams get a first down and advance to the big game as Jordan Howard making a crazy run, but he only gets seven as the Saints still have a chance. On first down, Britain would be brought down by Reuben Foster, who won the ONFC Defensive Player of the Year a season ago. Now third down and 20. You might as well call him Kim John yoon because he's launching absolute nukes. And the pass would be picked off by the Rams, as it's going to be Marshawn Lattimore with the play. And the LA Rams are back, three-peating the conference We've been doing this OFL for three seasons, and only one team has played in the OFL Bowl, and that will continue as the Rams try to go two in a row, and they beat the Saints 14-9. Not going to lie, I was pretty salty after this since I am the Saints. So I have constructed a super team, and we have won Jack Diddley's squad. Okay, we won what? Four playoff games? Woohoo, I guess that's not bad for a span of two seasons, but it doesn't mean anything because we lost to the Rams twice. So now the AFC Championship, Bills taking on the Jaguars, as the Bills have sort of been the Cinderella team all year. And I was talking about how they were at their peak last week, but they're going to try to get even higher on their peak as Jacksonville up. Now Buffalo scores a touchdown late in the third, 17-14. to 14. Jaguars tied up with a field goal. Bills get a field goal. Jaguars close. They get a field goal, so we need overtime. The Bills won an overtime a week ago, and they do it again. And the Buffalo Bills have won. And the Bills of all teams are advancing to the OFL Bowl. I don't believe it. We were laughing at this team earlier in this season. They made some questionable moves, trading their whole team, basically, for Carson Wentz. But they would not be here today if it weren't for that. Congratulations to coaches Roberto Nandina IV, as well as Coach Jerry Taylor of the Bills. Me, as well as Pride, get to go home. We won't be feeling too much pride after that. So here's a look at the Pro Bowl roster, but... Next episode, of course, will be the OFL Bowl, the final episode of the series until we move to Madden 20 with a totally new fantasy draft. I will be streaming it this weekend, likely Saturday, when I get home from my vacation. So there you go, folks. The LA Rams, who have been the Goliath this whole series, they've made the OFL Bowl all three years, taken on the Bills, who have come out of nowhere. Even as the three seed, they've won three playoff games, including two on the road, and we have ourselves a very interesting OFL Bowl.